Welcome to my mastery project. This is my adding machine. And if we step inside, you'll see two input walls, input one and input two. The machine will basically add these two inputs together to give us an answer on that black screen in the distance. So if we press three and four, we should get seven on the screen. And it does display a 7. And this button right here will reset the display so we can start anew on our uh, summation. So if we do 2 and 6 we will get 8 and the machine gives us 8. And also if we do 8 and 9 we should get 17. And basically this machine has over 100 combinations of inputs and will give a, the correct summation for every combination. And before I show you how the machine actually works behind the scenes, I will show you some basics uh, in redstone, which is basically the equivalent of electricity in this game. Okay, so here are some of the things that I use to build the adding machine. The first one is the redstone torch. It's basically always on and it provides power to a redstone line. If I remove it, the redstone line is unpowered. Then I have the inverter. It basically uh, changes the signal. So if I put a powered input, it displays an output that is unpowered. Then I have a repeater. It basically extends the signal of the redstone line, which can only go up to 15 meters so it just extends it with a small delay then I have an AND gate it has two inputs and one output I have to meet both of these conditions for the output to be powered and if I remove one input then it will not uh, be powered at all then I have the most challenging gate that I used and it's called the RS NOR gate and uh, it stores uh, basically all of my numbers when I'm uh, trying to calculate them. This is the output line and this is the input line. If I power the input and then unpower it, it will store the signal right here. And if I want to reset the signal, I will just place a redstone torch here and it's reset. Now I can show you what goes on behind the scenes on my adding machine is basically made up of uh, four parts. The input, which is located over here, then the computational device over there, the decoder, which is in yellow under here, and then the display in red over here. The input basically connects to the storage of gates over here, and it stores the values. I also have an input on the other side for input two, and I extend the signal over here to the computational unit. And this was the most tedious part to build, but it became easier because things began to repeat. The whole premise of this structure is, is on the AND gates. Basically, the signals come from input 1 and input 2, and they go into the AND gates, and they power the signal coming out. And then this output goes through the whole computational device and goes down right into the decoder. And the decoder here in yellow, it converts the binary signal into a number that we can see on the display. And the display is, each display is made up of uh, seven uh, different parts and they can be uh, powered by these lines over here in red. And this is basically my whole adding machine. Thanks for watching.